We begin this afternoon with that bizarre discovery made by a fisherman in Jamaica Bay. He found these three rifles. They were inside a plastic bag in the water, and that prompted NYPD officers to grab their scuba gear and see if there was anything else below the surface. And there was. They found 14 handguns underwater. Now investigators want to know how they got there and who left them at the bottom of the bay. Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez spoke to the fisherman who snagged that cache of weapons, and he joins us live on Far Rockaway with more. Johnny. Yeah, David, the fishermen and everyone we've talked to, they are stunned that that many firearms were discovered here in Jamaica Bay. Now, the only thing police has said is that these firearms, they were reported stolen in a prior burglary, but that's all they're saying. and That's all we know. A lot of questions remain, such as who did these firearms belong to and how did they end up here in Jamaica Bay in plastic bags and a box? What started as a normal day wandering the marshy waters in Jamaica Bay turned into a day full of surprises for this local fisherman. At the distance, I saw a big metal box. So then I go close to it to see what was in there. And when I get there, I saw a few black garbage bags. And then I go close and close. And then when I see it, it was uh, guns. The fisherman, who didn't want to show his face on camera, says he was checking out the water for the upcoming fishing season and was disturbed by what he saw. I only see like three of them and I get scared. In fact, it, that was uh, two days ago. It was in the afternoon, so I couldn't sleep at that night because I don't know what to do. I get scared. So and then the next morning, I said to myself, I got to do the correct thing. And I, I go to the precinct and I report it. NYPD divers headed into the water and made the remarkable discovery of a total of 14 handguns and three rifles inside a plastic bag. The discovery brought a number of questions as to who did these guns belong to and how did it end up here in a box and a bag. It's really an impressive collection of handguns and as well as three assault rifles. So you have looks like a collector's edition. You look at also in the, in the photos recovered. These are in holsters already. So someone put time, put a lot of time and money putting this collection together. As the investigation into these guns continues today, the local fisherman who called 911 says he has no regrets in calling police and feels a sense of relief, but says he'll hold off on this year's fishing season. But now I think I'm going to stay out of the water for a little while. Until I process this thing. So I would tell if you see something, say something, report it right away. And don't get scared like I do before. But and then I did the correct thing. I went to the prison and I reported. Now, the former chief of detectives, Robert Boyce, says that serial numbers on these firearms, they will play a huge role in the investigation, and that will allow police and detectives to figure out who these guns belong to and also ask them the important question of how the guns ended up here in Jamaica Bay.